Hello! It is me with part two of this series. I'm obsessed with series, apparently. Today I'm talking about how to stay motivated. And during this video, I'm gonna switch up my shirts um, because this is one part of the motivations that I have is the race shirts that you get when you run. Um, I'm not saying that you're watching this video is to run races, but for me, this is one of the things that I love is the race shirts. It's cool. Although I put my size wrong like I talked about in the other video. So this one is from this one here, the Tour de l'Horloge. Um, it's too big for me, but whatever. This one is literally like a parachute on me. It's from this race over here, so that's really great. And then I wore the red one in my other video, which is from the last race that I did. But yeah, I just wanted to show you these. So how to stay- oh, I should probably put a shirt on one sec. So now that you know how to start running, which I made like a 19 minute video where I could literally just said, find somebody who runs, find a training plan that works for you. The hardest part of getting out the door and just do it. But I wanted to be really dramatic and talk about myself and my story just maybe I don't know, inspire somebody. I don't, I don't, I really don't know why, just whatever. So I'm gonna tell you how I got motivated, of course, and then some little tips that have really helped me along the way. First thing, finding people that run. Finding people that, it doesn't matter what level they run. If you run, you're a runner, like you run. Like, I mean, I don't know, I have this thing about like calling myself a runner, just cause like I don't know when I can call myself a runner. I done four races though, I feel like I can now call myself a runner. I also have like a hat that makes me look like a douchebag a little bit, which is great. So I feel like when I wear this with my glasses and my fuel belt, my shorts, my shoes, I feel like a runner, which is great. So find yourself some people who run. If you cannot, honestly, there's so many different Facebook groups and you can find other people who run, people online, people around you. There's running groups in like almost every single city. If you're in Canada, check out the running room. They have great running um, groups. I, I've never done it, but I know that it's great. <laughs> now this is what I did. I, look, I'm not like not recommending it. I'm not recommending it. I'm just saying that this is what I did. To me, buying myself things that were maybe a little expensive keeps me going. So having my friend help me buy those shoes, which were expensive, even though they were kids' shoes, kept me going, because I was like, oh, now I have to keep running because he helped me buy those shoes, and I don't want to disappoint him or anything like that. So I know that that's kind of like a, like a weird thing to think, but that really kept me going. And also, buying myself this watch. This is a Garmin Forerunner 220. This is a very expensive watch. Um, it's a watch for running, obviously, and it tracks everything that you do. I got this because I didn't want to bring my phone everywhere with me because it uses data when you're using the GPS when you're running, and I don't want to do that. So this is a GPS walk watch. It tracks your, it tracks the steps that you do when you run. It tracks your stride rate. It tracks um, your every every mile that you run, like how long you've ran that mile or that kilometer, if you like which is what I do. It buzzes, it's a great alarm in the morning because it also vibrates, so you can put earplugs in it, it's great. I also got this watch when it was on sale, so it wasn't as expensive as it is. I don't really wanna say the price of it because it's a bit like, eh, but it's also purple, so I mean, I had to get it. To me, having this watch is like, you know what? I have this, it's expensive, I'm gonna keep going at it. And it's almost like the more equipment that I buy, the more like, I'm a real runner now, I can actually do this. But enough of the materialistic things, that's just for me, I really enjoy that. I, oof, honestly, you set your goal on something. If you want to just keep running and you're okay with that, that's fine. Some people just need the motivation. So talking to other people that will motivate you is obviously amazing, but also setting yourself a goal. So the couch to 5K is 100% good because you're setting yourself a goal to get to 5K. If your next goal is 10K, this was me. I, my first goal was 5, 1K, then 5K, then 10K. And then I was like, oh, I'm jumping to 21.1K, which is 13.1 miles. Now I have another goal is to it, the goals are never ending, no matter what. Because if you did a 10K and you're like, I'm done, what do I do now? You're gonna wanna improve your time, I guarantee it. People don't just run to just like finish a 10K. People usually run because they like to run and they wanna get to their goal, but then when you get there, you're like, hey, I could've done this a bit, maybe bis, bis, le, a, bit, eh, le, 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 a bit less time that I did. So you're gonna wanna improve it. I mean, that's like usually what happens. It's happened to me a lot. It's dangerous because it's an addiction and it never stops. So set yourself a goal is basically what I'm saying. Um, it is extremely important. And it's also, I think it's important to talk to other people maybe who aren't runners because it's really cool to see people's reaction when you tell them I did a 5K and they're like, oh my God, I can't even want to run a mile. Like it's, I don't know, like it makes me feel better that, um, and it makes me, it keeps me going. It keeps me going. Thinking, I want to get to that next level because I'm doing something for me. And that's also something that I'm really proud of myself for is that I feel like for the first time ever, I'm doing myself for, I'm doing something for myself. 
and it's not like I'm doing it for someone else or someone else to help me. Like, yeah, people help me. The internet helped me with my training plan. My friend helped me with my shoes and like encouragement and training, and it's amazing. But no one else put my leg in front of the other and started running. It was me that did it. And I keep telling myself that, and it's so motivating to know that it's me. And honestly, after a while of running, it doesn't become a physical thing anymore. It's really a mental thing. It's a mental battle. And it is physical, obviously, but um, half marathon to me, it's, it's really about how much your mind can handle and how much you can push yourself. And it's really something that's motivating to me because I know I can do it. I've done it before. Hello, look at my back, like the back wall. I've done it. I know that I can do it again. And it's so awesome. If you're into wanting to run, there's a bunch of 5Ks that you can do and you'll get a race bib. Some have medals, some don't, but you'll have a race bib. So you put these on your wall or you put these somewhere that you can see when you're about to go to bed and when you wake up in the morning and honestly it does something to you. The first one that I got, I just, I could not believe that I accomplished something this big. 21.1K I ran without proper half marathon training. It's just, it's, I don't understand how I was able to do it. But now that I understand more how my mind works and how I can push myself and really, I don't know, like, if you don't run, or if you never want to run, I'm sure that there's no one here, like, maybe people just want to watch this video, but there, if you don't run, you don't get it. There's something that happens when you run, and that's what also keeps you motivated. Something just, I don't even know why I'm getting emotional right now, to be honest. Like, it's just like, I don't know. So in my last video, um, I talked about weight and how a lot of people around me have been saying that I've lost weight and I didn't see it. So I put a couple of pictures that I had of me before and pictures of me now, and it's insane. Um, I don't have any like poofy cheeks. Like I'm looking at myself in the reflection in the, the camera right now, so I'm not looking at you. But my cheeks were poofier, and like, I'll even get a picture just to show you. All right, so this is me last April um, with my supervisor. This is after my honors presentation. Um, the glare is insane right now, but as you can see, I don't know, like it, I look at this and I'm just like, I. I like, I can't, I, I can't, I can't believe it. I don't know, I feel like I have like a jawline now and I don't have like the poofy cheeks and I just, I have a neck and I have like collarbones. Like, I never noticed it. I honestly noticed it last week. Somebody literally last week, people kept telling me around me, oh my God, I lost so much weight. I just, I didn't see it. And then people kept saying, I'm like, okay, God, I guess there's something that's going on. Like, what's happening? And it's just insane, the perception that I have of my own body. Because when I look down, I still feel like I have the big gut that I had six months ago but I'm like literally nowhere near that. I'm like almost super flat now, which is just, my body has never been this skinny, but it's also great because it's so much more muscular and that keeps me going, man. That motivation of like, I don't care about weight though. Like that's the thing, I'm gonna do this about weight. It's the first time in my life that I don't care about my weight and I've lost weight. And I think that that's what's really helped me because I'm eating healthy for me. I'm not doing it to, to lose weight. I'm just doing it because I wanna run. I wanna be healthy and I wanna make sure that the health issues that run in my family don't happen to me. So I don't know if that really makes sense. I feel like that's more like a personal thing, but it really works for me to like look at my body. And I know that some people are gonna do the running for their weight. 100% you can do that. I know so many people who have done that and it works for them and it's great. Running is really amazing. And if you change your diet a little bit or completely overhaul your diet like I did, it's, it's insane, like I, I've been vegan for over five years, but I was a fat vegan, you know? Like eating Oreos and all that fattening stuff, which is 100% okay. I don't care what people eat. I'm not shaming anybody who eats Oreos every day. You do it, I did it. But I wanted to change. So I completely removed sugar, processed sugar, because I eat a lot of fruits from my diet. And it's completely changed my body. Like honestly, the shape of my body is different. It's just, also it makes you feel a lot better and that's motivating because Motivation really comes, I feel for a place, like, I feel like motivation comes from like a, your, a, a part of your brain that's just like, if it's not, like it's not gonna happen if it's not gonna happen. If you're eating shitty and you feel bad, motivation is not there. If you start eating better and you run, even on the day that you don't wanna do it, you're gonna do it. You're gonna be able to push yourself. It's a mental thing, but also a physical thing. Your body's gonna be able to push you out that door. And as corny as it sounds, as many times I'll say it, it's 100% true. Really, the hardest part is leaving. Not everybody can go out of their house and start running. Not everybody can, you know, register for a race. A lot of people can register for a race. A lot of people can, can, can start running. But, I mean, you, you did it. 
you signed up for the race. You had the courage to sign up for a race. A 5K, a 10K, it doesn't matter. A half marathon, a full marathon, it doesn't matter. You did it. And you had the courage to go to the start line. You had the courage to start when the gun went off. You had the courage to keep running. Even if you had to stop, you still did it and you finished it. It's a huge accomplishment. And it's overwhelming to know that I'm gonna have so many more medals by the end of this year, which is what I'm planning to do. But it's like motivation, right? I have so many different goals coming up that it keeps me going. It's also very motivating to see the training plan that you have because you know what's coming up. You know the days that you have to cross train, which I usually just do yoga, but you can swim or bike or do something that's not super, like that's not really gonna hurt your body. Like, I don't think you should be bodybuilding like crazy on your days of X training. Did I just say X training? I meant cross training, did I? What's wrong with me? Because on my paper it says X train just cause cross trains, I don't know, whatever. It's like it's motivating to see how many weeks you have left. Even if you start at week one, you have 11 weeks left. You know, week two, you have 10 weeks left. That's not a lot of time when you think about it. And I think it's great. Anyways, I really hope that this video helped. Please, if you have anything, anything to add, I'm 100% open to like hearing them in the comments. Just write in the comments what you do to keep motivated because I feel like I did forget a couple of things only because I'm extremely hot right now because I need to open that window because there's like no breeze in this room for like an hour and a half because I've been recording videos, but I'm dying. Anyways, running saved my life. Running has continued to make me feel better about myself and my body. I've been able to push myself in different aspects of my life. I've been able to make videos again and edit them seriously and start seriously thinking about my channel and doing different things with it. I've started a new project. It's really like, yes, I'm on antidepressants, but running is nothing like that. It just pushes you even more to do things. And it's just, it really works for me. And that's a motivation, 100%. Like, I feel better. When I don't run, I feel like shit. When I had my leg injury, you know, my mood went down so badly, like so, so down, so my mood went down a lot. It's just important to take care of myself and I would encourage anybody who would like to start running to do it. If you don't like running, that's completely fine. I'm not gonna push you into running. No one's gonna push you into running. Do something else. Stay motivated. These, this video can, I guess, be for any kind of sport or anything, activity that you wanna do. Honestly, it's just you talk to people who are in the thing that you're interested in and you get into the community and it just rolls from there, in my opinion. That's what, I mean, that's the experiences that I've had, I don't know. I'm so excited for my next race. It's in like four weeks. So I'm gonna go and today's my day off. So tomorrow I do a 5K and then this weekend I'm doing 16K, so that's gonna be great. 16K, 16, is that 10K? 10, 10 miles, 10 miles. Yeah, I think so. Anyways, whatever. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you later. If you have any questions, please let me know, bye. If you don't wanna do it, make that your inspiration. You say to yourself, me not wanting to do it, the person inside my brain right now that's telling me not to do it, you give them the finger and be like, I'm gonna fucking show you, I'm gonna prove it to you that I can fucking go outside and run. Even if it's the worst run you've done, even if it's the slowest run you've done, even if it's just 1K, one mile, you went 